Here we see a bale in which polystyrene is highly enriched. Impurities like other plastics, but also moisture and dirt must be removed as they might impair quality or disrupt the downstream process. After sorting and liberation shredding, the material is washed and cut into particles with less than 10 millimeters in size to ensure conveyability. Our project partners then receive the polystyrene for further treatment. A twin screw extruder with high temperature system thermally overstresses and degrades the polystyrene particles at temperatures of up to 450 degrees. The particles are fed into the extruder via the dosing system and the hopper. The material is heated to its melting temperature. A vacuum pump removes moisture and oxygen. Then the polystyrene is heated above its melting temperature, which allows the polymer chains to be broken, resulting in styrene monomer. Via the second and third degassing domes, the styrene monomer in gaseous form is drawn off from the twin extruder with a vacuum. The gas is then transported through these pipes into the separator and condenses there. The styrene oil can then be bottled. The styrene oil, which you see bottled here, contains so-called high and low boilers, in addition to the styrene monomer. In order to get enriched styrene, we purify the styrene oil in two consecutive distillation steps. In the first distillation, a rough separation of high and low boiling components, with large differences in the boiling point is achieved. In the second step, the intermediate product is further purified by distillation through a column with higher separation efficiency. The styrene monomer obtained can then be used again for the production of high quality styrenic plastics, including polystyrene. We use purified styrene monomer in our R&D lab to test the performance in the different polymerization methods. In our state-of-the-art pilot plant, we are scaling up the polymerization of recycled styrene monomer. This research shows that polystyrene is made for recycling. We are proud that we can contribute to a more sustainable world. With the help of our partners along the value chain, we expect to have chemically recycled polystyrene on the market by 2021. Driving success together.